Hey Capricorn, welcome to your monthly reading for July 2021. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We are going to go through some general messages for you guys for the month. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. So Capricorn, let's see where we go. We have Journey. <laughs> I almost said that very weird. Let's get one more or two. We have the seventh chakra and woman holding a heart. All right. Bottom of the deck energy is the fourth chakra, which is the heart chakra. So there's something about like your heart. Um, like this could be a journey of love, right? There could be some romance coming up here this month for you guys. Maybe you're just ready for a new path in love. Um, let's see what the spirit guide messages are here for you, Capricorn, in July. We have work in silence, thief watching. I had that come out for another sign. Um, and your purpose is to be heart-centered. I feel like you're definitely heart-centered. I feel like for you guys, what this work in silence is, is like just make sure people aren't taking advantage of your kindness is what I want to say. Like, don't be over giving to people who aren't, um, like worthy of that, you know, like protect your energy in that sense. <clears throat> Show compassion for people, but that doesn't mean you have to like over give to them. Right. All right. So we have the two of pentacles. We have the page of wands, the seven of swords, we have the Nine of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have Three of Swords with Temperance and the King of Cups. Again, that's like that heart-centered energy. Um, I do see you guys moving forward. Um... I feel like you've probably been in hermit mode or you might be in hermit mode, but it's like about to open up for you. But I feel like balancing out the emotions and giving yourself time to do that is going to be key here. So some of you are healing your heart, healing from emotional stuff from the past, probably. Uh, we have the two of pentacles, the page of wands and the seven of swords. I feel like I don't know, somebody could have been a little like, if this is love related, this is like somebody who kept their options open, was a little bit maybe immature, a little flirty, but kind of like a little bit of a player vibe, honestly, is what I'm getting. Maybe juggling people, whatever, right? Um, if it's not, I just kind of see you like worrying about yourself. Like, again, like not giving to people and things that don't serve you. But again, it's interesting because we do have the Seven of Swords, which can indicate like stealing, lying, cheating, and we have that thief watching. So it's like, be cautious. I feel like you might've dealt with this in the past. And I think that that's kind of like what you're moving on from. Uh, we have the Nine of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. So this is like King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles is your energy here. Um, and with the Nine of Cups, I feel like it's just like finding the happiness within, right? And again, like maintaining your own heart-centered energy before giving it to other people, right? So it's like we can't give what we don't have. So really protecting our emotional energy here because you've worked so hard to balance yourself out. And now it's like, don't be given that away because I feel like you've healed kind of from this past energy. Um, in the near future, we have the 10 of swords, the five of cups and the nine of wands. I kind of feel like there's something you're still holding on to, some sort of like regret, pain, sadness, something from the past that's ended that I feel like it's like you're just still kind of holding on. You're starting to move forward, but it's like it's still lingering there. So there might be something that comes up this month that kind of triggers that again. So let's clarify and see, Capricorn, what's this um, page of wands here in the recent past? clarify this page of wands five of pentacles yeah i feel like this person like they they ghosted you there's distance separation possibly in the recent past what's this seven of swords the chariot the 
the King of Swords, the Three of Pentacles. I don't know, there could have been like, I mean, there could have been a third party or they're just focused on work for some of you is what I'm getting with the Three of Pentacles. It's like, I feel like emotionally they were distant or there was like, there could have even been physical distance between the two of you, but it's like this person wasn't willing to work on things with you. Like they were keeping to themselves and would probably like come and go, I feel. What's this Two of Pentacles here? Knight of Swords, yeah, like back and forth, in and out. It, it wasn't very serving. I feel like it kept you confused um, and caused a lot of conflict within you. So I feel like you're kind of moving forward. Yeah, like you've kind of distanced yourself. I just got the Hermit card that flipped out, but so let's see what this Nine of Cups is here in the current energy. Four of Wands. So you guys are feeling really good, feeling happy, uh, supported, successful. Like you feel stable in your emotions as well. Like you feel, you feel like you've healed and found a lot of happiness within. Like you found your personal self happiness. You know, what's this King of Pentacles here in the current energy for Capricorn? The Six of Pack. <laughs> six of cups you do still <laughs> you do still think about the past and commitment um you know maybe even wishing you had a commitment but also like trying to move forward from this like i, I do see you trying to resist this a little bit can i get one more for the king of pentacles yeah queen of swords you're trying to block out the past like you're trying to not fixate on it and move forward but i feel like there is a a, a strong emotional tie to this or um, you felt like this was a strong connection you had with this person. What's this four of pentacles here? The sun. Again, holding on to your happiness. Yeah, the star. Really trying to hold on to the healing work that you've done. I kind of feel like you don't want to, it's like you don't want to go back. You don't, that's almost the fear of like, going back into old patterns is like almost undoing <laughs> the work that you've d already done. It's like, oh my gosh, I don't want to go back. You know what I mean? And do this all over again. So I feel like you're kind of in this place of really trying to preserve the progress that you've made when it comes to your heart chakra, just like your, your healing, your happiness, like all of that kind of stuff, like how you feel about you and yourself and your life. Um, you're trying to hold on to that which is, I mean, a good thing, but just don't let it come from a place of fear. You know what I mean? I feel like you're waiting for a relationship or someone to come in here with the seven of pentacles, the two of cups and the knight of pen or knight of cups, sorry, that have come in. You're waiting for a commitment. You're looking for that. So let's see what this uh, 10 of swords is here in the near future. We have the eight of wands. Okay. What's this five of cups? The Empress, the Three of Wands, and what's this? Nine of Wands. Death. Okay, so you are letting something go. I think you're starting to see your worth. You're moving forward. You're gaining your confidence back. You could be even communicating that you're no longer s sitting around and waiting for this. So if, if you get that opportunity, that's a possibility. Some of you are just like communicating that to yourself like it's like an internal thing um so i feel like i feel like you are moving on you're trying to let this go and you're transforming this energy and with a nine and a ten there is like that um cyclical like the end of a cycle here coming and obviously with the death card there is that ending as well so I see you guys overcoming this. And again, it's just like trying to preserve your your energy here and your, your happiness. You're ready for new love for sure. So let's see what your advice is, Capricorn. The Hermit, the world, what's the advice here? And the Page of Swords, the Ten of Wands. I almost kind of feel like get back out there like don't hold yourself back 
or don't hold back. Especially when you have like officially moved forward with the world. Like I do see you closing out a cycle and like doing a lot of healing work still. Like I do feel like the healing is gonna continue through July. You could be very focused on just like, it's almost just like a general energy here of what I'm getting is like moving forward with your, your life. And just really making sure that you're healed and not carrying the past with you. Like, I think you're really trying to, like, leave the past in the past. And you're waiting for what you deserve to come in. And that's where I feel like this Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, it's like you guys are waiting for this opportunity to present itself, you know, when the time is right. So I feel like, you know, don't be, don't be shy. <laughs> Um, but with the hermit, I do feel like there will be still some like introspection when it comes to this, like ending this cycle. It's like, you're still trying to almost like understand it. And some of you just like may be focused on kind of your material world, your career for some of you with that world energy. Um, but it's almost like you're still learning a lesson and your advice is to keep learning because I feel like those lessons, it's like they change, but they never go away. You know, like we're always going to be growing and evolving. And I, you don't really need to tell everyone what you're going through. But I feel like specifically, it's like, don't give your energy to people who don't deserve it. You'll know who the people in your life are that support you. And you might not have very many of them because I know I don't. <laughs> Um, most times like the true true friends who like actually and just like people in your life or that's family or whatever who support you like through and through no matter what are like very limited so um, yeah I feel like I feel like you guys are going in a really good direction I don't even really feel like there's nothing crazy specific I just see that like a lot of healing and happiness so I feel like you guys are just gonna be enjoying July We'll see what comes up in the mid-month breeding, but things look really good, and I see a lot of transformation here. Um, and just really trying to hold on to your happiness. So that is what I have for you, Capricorn. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out your other signs for some additional messages. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful month, and I'll see you in the next reading.